The development of the M551 Sheridan commenced in 1959 under the program known as the AR-AAV, Armored Reconnaissance-Airborne Assault Vehicle. Initial prototypes were constructed in 1962, and production officially began in 1966. The vehicle was named in honor of Civil War General Philip Sheridan. A total of 1,700 M551 Sheridan light tanks were manufactured until 1970 when production ceased. This tank served as a replacement for the M41 tanks and M56 self-propelled guns in use by the U.S. Army. The Sheridans were gradually phased out of service starting in 1978, with the last operational vehicles decommissioned in 1996. Presently, the U.S. Army lacks a direct substitute for this lightweight, airborne, and amphibious tank. The M551 Sheridan possessed the capability for airdrops, including those at low altitudes. Low altitude drops were accomplished using the LAPES extraction system, which employed a specialized pallet to absorb most of the impact during landing. This strategy allowed for tank delivery when traditional landing was unfeasible due to strong enemy air defenses. Notably, the Sheridan stood as the sole air deployable tank in service with the U.S. Army. The hull of the M551 Sheridan was constructed through aluminum alloy welding, while the turret was welded from steel, aimed at reducing weight. Front armor offered protection against 20mm armor piercing rounds, while overall safeguarding was designed to withstand 14.5mm bullets. The vehicle was equipped with a NBC protection system. The primary armament of the M551 Sheridan light tank consisted of a distinct fully stabilized M48 152mm gun launcher capable of firing both standard projectiles and MGM-51 Shillelagh anti-tank guided missiles. The standard munitions were characterized by their short, stout design with combustible cases, requiring careful handling. These rounds had an effective firing range of 1. 5 kilometers, serving well in the infantry support role and even capable of engaging most contemporary main battle tanks at close ranges. However, accuracy diminished at longer distances. The Shillelagh anti-tank guided missiles were intended for engagements at extended ranges, stored in aluminum cases with a range of up to 3 kilometers. Yet, due to intricate electronics and guidance systems, these missiles were seldom employed, mainly used for crew training. A similar gun launcher, with slight modifications, was later integrated into the M60A2 main battle tank. Operational experience with this unconventional tank demonstrated that the 152mm gun launcher was inferior in terms of range and accuracy compared to 105mm and 120mm tank guns, specifically when firing standard munitions. The secondary armament included a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun. The tank was operated by a crew of four, including the commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The M551 Sheridan utilized a Detroit Diesel 6V53T diesel engine generating 300 horsepower. The tank could become fully amphibious after a two-minute preparation. On water, the tracks propelled this lightweight tank. Around 200 Sheridans were employed by the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War. Combat experiences highlighted several shortcomings, including vulnerability to grenades and mines. The gun launcher exhibited issues with cracks developing after repeated firing and excessive recoil for a light vehicle. Modifications were made to address these problems in most field units. The M551A1 Sheridan represented an upgraded version of the original vehicle, developed in 1971 based on operational insights from the initial M551. This version featured enhanced suspension and a laser rangefinder. The M551 Sheridan introduced a highly innovative design for a light tank, however, numerous deficiencies led to its gradual retirement from service. The M60A1 main battle tanks and subsequently the M3 Bradley armored reconnaissance vehicles took over the reconnaissance role previously fulfilled by the Sheridans. In the 1980s, the US developed the M8 Buford, an airdroppable light tank intended to replace the Sheridan. 
Unfortunately, the M-8 program was terminated in 1996, leaving the U.S. Airborne Forces with limited firepower capabilities.